Hi Year 2, I hope you enjoyed the first part of our story, Tiddalick the Frog. Before we find out what happens, let's think about the answers that you could have had to the questions we asked in the last video. Firstly, we asked you where you thought the story could be set. The story is set in Australia. There were clues in the story through the animals that they use, such as the kangaroo and the kookaburra. We also asked you to think about what sort of character you thought Tiddalick could be. We had to explore the text carefully to be able to answer that question. Some of the words you may have had to describe him are greedy, selfish, unkind. If we look through the text, we can see that he had a very large appetite, he was quite greedy, but he would also gobble up all the flies before any of the other frogs had a chance. That tells us that he's not very good at sharing, so that's selfish side to him. And it also told us that he only cared about himself. As the story progressed, we met lots of different animals who were very thirsty. But Tiddalick wasn't a very kind frog, as he wasn't letting them drink any of the water. He was drinking it all himself. Let's continue the story to find out what happens next and to see if your predictions were correct. There was no water anywhere and the land had become a desert. All was dry and dusty. The grass faded, the plants wilted. The animals are so thirsty. All because of Tiddalick. What are we going to do? I have an idea. Let's go to see Wombat. Wombat was a wise old creature who they found lying in the shade of a tree in the forest. I have heard what Tiddalick has done. But what can we do? Well, now, if we're to get the water back, we'll need to get it out of Tiddalick's belly. But how can we do that? Well, by making him laugh. Here's what we'll do. We'll put on a show for him. A funny show. Yes, we'll make Tiddalick laugh. We'll make him laugh so much, all the water in his belly will come rushing back out again. I'll tell Tiddalick one of my jokes. I'll challenge him to a boxing match. And I'll make Tiddalick laugh by pulling my funny faces. All very good ideas. Now, we just need to send Tiddalick an invitation. The funny show was planned for that very evening, to be held by the dried-up stream where Tiddalick lived. What's this? croaked Tiddalick when he received his invitation. Why am I being invited to a funny show? I don't find anything funny. But I'm bored. I suppose I may as well go. It was time for the show to begin. Gather round, everyone, cried Wombat. Welcome to the funny show. First to perform was Kookaburra with her joke. Where do frogs keep their lunch boxes in school? I don't know. Where? In the croak room, cried Kookaburra and started laughing. Not funny, said Tiddalick. Next. Second was Kangaroo. I challenge you to a boxing match. The winner gets a bottle of water as a prize. Boring. Next. Then it was Koala's turn. The little animal squeezed his furry face into all kinds of funny expressions. But none of them made Tiddalick laugh. Is that it? Is that the best you can do? Let me have a go, came a hissing voice. It was Snake. I will dance for Tiddalick, she hissed. 
Snipe whirled and twirled. She twisted and turned. But still, Tiddly didn't laugh. Faster and faster, Snipe twirled, twisted and turned, until she danced so fast that she twisted herself into a great big knot. This will never do. Assistance, please. Kookaburra, Kangaroo and Koala were just about to untie Snake when they heard a great rumbling sound. It was coming from Tiddalik. His enormous belly was shaking. His great big mouth was opening. Snake tied in a knot. I've never seen anything so... <laughs> Tiddalik was laughing. <laughs> and then came the water. Out of Tiddalik's mouth it all poured. The stream, the river and the billabong. Out it all poured in a great gush and back to where it belonged. Hurrah! cried the animals as the land came back to life. Oh my, that was funny. I haven't enjoyed myself so much for years. <laughs> Why, I've enjoyed myself so much, I promise you. I shall never drink all the water ever again. So that's the end of Tiddalik the Frog. It looks like he's learned his lesson. For today's task, in the reading folder, we have put a copy of this. We would like you to have a go at sequencing the events in the story. Now remember to sequence events, you will need to refer back to the text, which we have also put a copy in the folder for you. The first one has been done for you. Let me have a go, came a hissing voice. And then you have further events that you need to put in the correct order. We will check the answers at the beginning of next week's reading video. Have fun! <laughs>